Once upon a ride, I used to live in this beautiful area of Umbria in Italy and I used to explore all these trails and hills and it was an awesome thing. So let me take you on a journey through my old hood. Ciao Ina, come stai? Ci vediamo, ciao caro! I always had a passion for this part of the world here in Umbria in Italy and actually when I was in my mid-30s I thought that I was going to retire soon and I looked for my exit plan, my dream that I could pursue and I bought this very house here, Poderi El Falco and I thought I could make wine and olives and turn it into a bed and breakfast and at the time there was no mountain biking in this area of Italy, I was really one of the first and there was no way to even find the trails. I had to all find them the hard way. On my old bike, I had to like pedal up all these canyons and forests and come to dead end streets and get chased by dogs. And God, I wish I had an e-bike back then because this was before there was like Google Earth or internet or trail forks or Strava. So um, mountain bikes have evolved a huge way and I'm so happy to be back here um with my e-bike now and um and i'm still have this place in my heart here but anyway i have one now and i'm gonna shred and explore my old neighborhood I just climbed up here in the early morning to Monte Cetona. This is one of my favorite places in the whole world. It's a very powerful place and people have lived here literally for hundreds of thousands of years. The Neanderthal people, this used to be an island once upon a time. And there was later the Etruscans, the Romans, and now the e-bikers are here. And um, it's just a cool place. There's a really old oak tree over there, which I'm gonna go and try to find it again. I always love that tree. And if you look over there, uh, on the other side is actually Umbria, where I used to live, and I could always see that mountain from my house and vice versa. So let's explore some more. There it is. My ancient beach. This is a really cool, special tree. I used to always come here. And for some reason, I'm attracted to this tree. Don't ask me why. It is, I, God knows how old this tree is, but it's super cool. And I, it's really a peaceful place here. Maybe a nice place to meditate. All right, I've been riding since sunrise and I've done already about 12, 13 kilometers, about 650 meters of climbing. And I came to the top here and I still have three bars left on my battery, which is awesome but I have it set up with the Shimano E-Tube app, so I actually get a little extra bump boost on my eco setting, but on trail setting, I don't have the maximum, so it have actually helps me save battery, and if I really need maximum power, I go into boost. But now I have a really sweet single trail ahead of me, and then there's a super cool lunch place. I just hope it's open today. Lasciare qui il papposto, oh bella, grazie. There is a lot of food. <laughs> Little Italian snack, salami, prosciutto, cotta, cruschetta, pecorino cheese. Well, that was a typical Tuscan lunch here at Fonte Vetriaia, which is this tiny little borgo in the middle of nowhere. Is the people still live in some of these houses. There's a tiny little bar 
restaurant, they serve you food if you're lucky. And um, it's a cool place, very simple life out here, very old Tuscan style. Panicale, a typical Italian hill town. They built these towns or villages on top of a hill so they could see the enemies approach in the Middle Ages. And it's like a tiny little borgo with a lot of really cool piazzas, churches, tight little alleys, and they have some really nice cafes for cappuccino. I love these technical sections. On my regular bike, I could have never made that. And that's so cool about the e-bike and also how you can adjust it and fine tune it to your needs with the Shimano eTube app. For example, I have my start assist on very aggressive instead of very mild. And having it aggressive, even if you come to a standstill, you can still get started again and you can climb like a goat. And I didn't follow the particular dream of living in Italy, but my sister Silvia did and her husband and they have this beautiful bike hotel, Villa Rey in Umbria, with olives and vine and all the most incredible landscapes. Ciao Silvia! Come stai! <laughs> Ciao! How was your ride? It was awesome, it was such good trails. So now, oh. I have a glass of this um, Hans Lowe Ray Special Edition. Alright, what a way to get greeted! Mm -hmm. 